Welcome back to JB Reviews. You know, I do a lot of videos on HD trucks, right? And the reason why is because, well, I buy them. But what is going on with Ram? Because when you come to any Ram dealer that has a lot of inventory, majority of their inventory are HDs. Now, obviously there are gonna be some half tons too, but check it out. There's two right here, right? And as we drive down, you'll see there's a ton more. So there's a lot of trucks here. Now, some of these trucks are like 95, 98, 100,000. This one that I'm driving in right now, this is a $105,000 truck. But yeah, all the way down here, you guys can see HDs. Didn't stop there though. There's a few right there. There's one down there. Actually, there's multiple ones down there. On this side, you guys can see that dually. There's a black one. There's a few more down those aisles. They're just kind of spread out everywhere, right? There's a lot of trucks here. That's a nice dually, by the way. Blackout, black wheels, and yeah, let's keep going. Now we're back over to the main lot, and you would think that most of the trucks on the overflow are majority of the inventory, right? But no, that's not true. They have a few over here, and they have a whole row of HD pickups right here. There is a lot of trucks at the store. There's one right there. There's one down there. Now that's a used truck right there. We're not including those, but all the way down, you have a row of HDs. There's a few of them parked on this side. They're just everywhere. It's what I'm trying to show you guys. There's one right there. Check out that power wagon. That is nice. There's another HD right there. And then, yeah. There's a lot of HDs here. So what's my point? A lot of people are saying that trucks aren't selling, right? A lot of people are saying that the market's about to crash. I've been seeing videos like this for like the last two years. And here we are. And yeah, the market has definitely slowed down. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. The market has definitely slowed down. You're seeing more inventory than we've seen in like the last three years. Also, Every one of these trucks are discounted heavily. You can get probably 10 grand off easily without even negotiating. 10 grand off on that truck. This one right here, you're probably six to seven grand off. They don't really give you a lot of rebates off on these limiteds. But there was a time when people were paying five grand over sticker or even upwards of 10 to 15 grand over sticker for dualies, right? So let's go over the number. So I'm here at Larry H. Miller Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah. And as I said, they do have every one of their HD half-ton trucks discounted heavily. And when you think about 2500s, for example, let's go find a 2500. So here's a 2500. So right now, currently, they have 46 three-quarter ton Rams in stock, 2024's brand new trucks. I'm not talking about used trucks. Right now, today, they have 46 of these. As far as your one tons, like this Dually, they have 37 one tons in stock. Now that's including single rear wheel and Dually, so just keep that in mind. When you think about that number, that's not a lot of trucks. So. In the last 90 days, how many trucks do you think that they've sold at this one location? Well, this is not a big, big dealer in terms of like sales. Like there's other larger stores. In the last 90 days, they sold 21 three quarter ton pickup trucks. They sold 24 one ton. So that's about 45 trucks, just HDs in the last 90 days. Now, Obviously, you guys know this. Not many people are knocking down the door to spend a hundred grand on an SUV. By the way, this Grand Wagoneer is stunning. I love the way this thing looks. Love the wheels. You don't normally see these. This is a Series 3, $119,000. Oh my goodness. The only thing it's missing, I wish it had tan interior. If that were the case, this would have been perfect for me. And it has the TVs in the back. I don't like that. I would not get that option for 2600 bucks. But yeah, you don't see people knocking down the door for Jeeps, for cars, SUVs at $100,000. So it's no surprise to me that these trucks aren't selling as fast because this is a lot of money, guys. You know, and most guys don't really work with their trucks. Most of the time we're pulling RVs or going 
out boating, whatever the case is, hunting. So that's why we buy these trucks, right? I think that right now, this is the perfect time to buy a truck because this is probably one of the few times in our market where you're going to be able to come in and demand what you want. If you want to get more for your trading, if you want to get more off the truck, you kind of hold the cards right now. If it were me, I would be out here looking for a deal. Now, if you bought a truck back in 2020 and 21 and you paid 10, 15 grand over sticker, whew, I feel bad for you because even with that kind of negative equity, unless you put a lot of money down, you're going to still be upside down. But yeah, trust me when I say this, once Ram redesigns their trucks, there's going to be a big push to get a new Ram pickup truck because right now these are just aged. I wouldn't buy a Ram right now for sure because I already had one and there's not a lot of differences on these trucks for me to justify buying another one. Now if they gave me, like I said earlier, they gave me like MSRP for my GMC Sierra AT4X and gave me the kind of money they're getting off on these trucks, I would consider it. But again, I think I would rather just wait and see what Ram does for that 2025 model year. But again, this is the best time to come out and buy a truck. If you've been waiting, I would just go ahead and buy a 2024 because if they do a redesign, you don't want to get the first model year of it, obviously. And right now they're putting like four grand of like just rebate so you can get ten to fifteen thousand dollars off some of those higher trim levels like the laramie i'm not sure if the limited and the longhorns have that rebate but i think i saw where the laramies were like four grand off also you have great uh financing options although if you have to give up the cash i wouldn't do it but i hope this video was helpful i know a lot of people are doing a lot of videos around oh the market's crashing but people have been doing those videos for like the last two years and I stray away from doing videos like that because there's not a lot of evidence to show that. The market has slowed down, but that's just because people are starting to come back to reality and see, oh wow, we have a lot of debt. A lot of people have a lot of debt, and now they got big car payments, and rates are really high right now. I think that's probably the biggest factor today is that rates are seven, eight percent, you know, for new cars. And well, actually that's probably for business. They're probably a little bit lower for personal but when I bought my cars I mean rates are high for businesses and it's just deterring people from wanting to buy but Ram trucks are still a really good contender I drive these trucks pretty often and it's very rare that I see any issues with these trucks guys like I think if you're looking for a reliable option Ram is the one because they haven't done a lot of updates to these I mean they still run the eyes and transmission on the one tons and if you want the standard output Cummins they have the 68R feet I don't care what anyone says that transmission is pretty reliable a lot of guys I've talked to who's done hot shot they've had great success with it so yeah if you're in the market or if you're thinking about buying a truck this year I think this is the best time because they're giving big incentives on 2024 inventory